The diagnosis was terminal. A CT scan revealed a brain tumor. After three years of pain, it was finally certain. Santanu was going to die. The living conditions of this area is very poor. Some places there is no electricity, and most of the people in this area live by doing daily uh, labor. What hope does a dying boy have in this kind of village? Even though Santanu's parents managed to get him diagnosed, they could do no more. All hope was gone. But an unexpected hope began to stir in the next village over. A prayer team was gathering regularly, going to homes and praying for the sick and afflicted. Stories of healings began to spread through the village. But this was an unusual prayer team. It consisted of children, motivated by nothing but the love of Jesus. This sort of thing was unheard of before. How then did these children discover such effective prayer? Well, for the first time in their lives, these children had a school in their own village, provided by people who loved them. Once the staff is appointed, we give them proper training how to uh, teach these uh, children. And uh, we always tell that uh, you are the model. You know, the students are going to look up to you. Sagan saw the power of prayer demonstrated through the example of the staff. He saw that they prayed for everything. So he and the children started doing the same thing on their own. My friends and I started praying together because I believe in Jesus and I believe he can heal. Santanu is one of our friends. He is not from the project center, but he had a brain tumor. And when we heard this, we went to his home and prayed. Most people would feel they've done their duty praying once and leaving. But this group returned daily to persevere in prayer. On the fifth day, God answered. The prayer group used to come and pray for me. And after that, there was no more pain. When we went to the hospital, the doctors did a new CT scan and told us there is no longer a problem. After that miracle, many other people asked us to pray for the sick, and they are also getting healed. News of this God who heals through children spread as a wave of hope across that area. Adults began to join the children, seeking healing from afflictions and deliverance from distress. What they found was love and power from a God they had never known before. It's incredible how this thing has spread. Children come to the center from several other villages. And now, in all of those areas, children have followed Sagan's example and started prayer teams that are just as powerful. How frequently? They all gather every day, reading the scriptures and praying. These are supported children who receive the usual education, clothes, meals, medical attention, and the love of Jesus. But who would have imagined they would become a true bridge of hope to their village and surrounding area? You can support and pray for children like these for only $35 a month. 100% of your support goes to the field. Go to gfa.org forward slash child to sponsor children today. Their lives might not be the only ones impacted.